Hello and welcome back to Quick Tips. Today we're going to talk a little bit about editing templates here in Adobe Express. To get started, I'm going to go to the purple plus button. I'm going to go to social media. And for today's demo, I'm just going to do an Instagram square post. Once I select square post, I'm dropped right into the templates area inside of Express. If for whatever reason you're not, you can always select templates from the left-hand panel. I'm going to choose a template that I want to start from and click on it. In this template, we have various graphics and photos, and we can manipulate all those things. The first thing that I want to do is turn this from a younger student into a college student. To do so, I can select the character, then up here in the top left corner, I can choose replace. I can upload an image, use my brands, libraries, photos, videos, design assets, or backgrounds. I'm gonna select photos. Here in photos, I'm gonna search for a college student. We're given a variety of different college students. I'm gonna choose one that I like and replace this student with a college student. When I find the one that I want, I'll select the student, let it process, choose the image, and remove the background. I can now move this student into the right place so it matches up with the look of the template. I may need to make adjustments such as scale or position to get this looking exactly right. To change the type in this piece, all I have to do is click on it and then select the area I would like to change. So let's say favorite subject is history. For this element, they used an icon. Now with this, Notice up here there's a duplicate option, a delete option, and then our breadcrumbs, which gives us the option to copy, paste, adjust positions, lock, and add comments. But there's not a replace option. We can replace photos and some graphics, but not icons. To change this icon, I'll need to delete it, go to elements, go to my arrow at the top, select icons, now with that, it's the wrong size, the wrong position, the wrong color, that's okay, we can move it. We can change that color to a white, we can scale it down to fit into the piece. If we'd like to change the background, we can select the background and say, oh, nothing happened. Over here in our layers, if I scroll down, we can see that there's not a background image. This background's actually coming from the background color option at the top. If I wanted to add a background to this image, all I have to do is go to media and choose a photo or go to elements and choose a background. For this demo, I'm going to use a photo. So I'm going to go to media, photos, and I'm going to say college campus, choose a photo of a college campus. And if I click on that photo, I can say that I would like to set that as my background. That will automatically size it. The other thing I can do is if it's too much, I can change the opacity and fade out the image to put more focus on the student in the foreground. Now this piece isn't finished, but let's imagine that it is. When we're done, if we would like to use this image, we can select download. This can download a PNG, JPEG, or two different versions of PDFs. Additionally, with saving, notice here that this is saving into the cloud. At the moment, it's called Untitled, but I'm going to change this to Template Demo. An easy way to remember that is our left hand is our cloud save, and our right hand is the area where we can download to our computer. Let's say we want to share this image for further editing or remixing. If I go to this purple share button in the top right corner, I have different options. I can share this file with different groups of people through their email address, I can make a copy of the link and send it to people, or I can make this into a template. And that's what we're going to look at today. If I select make template, I can give it a title. I can choose where I want this template to save in my brands, or I can create a public template link. If it's in your brands, this will be handy if you need to use it for later. If you create a public template link, it's easier to share out with the general public. Additionally, there are options at the bottom. One, for notes, if you want to add a note for your template. And the second here is for locks and restrictions. Right now, this is using my Etra brand. And if we look at the locks and restrictions on this, we can see that my Etra brand has colors and fonts that are applied to it. I can also limit the access to media and templates 
and new layers. If I want to, I can also set up lock restrictions by locking my layers and then adjusting these settings here. When you're finished, select Save Restrictions. If I return back to the Express homepage by clicking the A icon, we can see that that project will come up in the bottom left corner. I can select it and edit it and share again. That's it for this week. Hope to see you again next week for another quick tip.